I was fed up of waiting my entire life for little Miss Wright. It's not that I ever had any trouble getting girlfriends, but my taste in women tended to be unfortunate. So I took action. My search was over. My independence declared. I play Sarah, who um, carries a bit of a torch for Oliver. <laughs> and um, she's a very bookish girl and um, is rather uh, desperate, I think, when he chooses to marry himself. Um, and then rather relieved that he asks her over to relieve his boredom and <laughs> be married to himself. And they discover that they share something in common, which is a love of him and for him. So they live happily ever after. Here we go, and action! I think he's somebody who's completely isolated, uh, disembodied from the world, like a, like a sort of internet geek type person. Very lonely and isolated and can't find love. Uh, modern dilemma, even despite my Jason King costume without the sideburns. And um, so he decides because he can't find a suitable woman to marry, to marry himself and convinces a bishop and his parents this is a good idea. I decided to get married to myself. Oh, I love a wedding. How exciting. I'll make your special cake. Do I know? He's brilliant. He's just got such a great vision and, um, you know, and is very clear about what he wants. Um, and especially with a short film, you know, there isn't 90 minutes to sort of take your time developing what someone should look like or how they should sound or whatever and Gary's very clear he knows exactly what he wants and um, and I think knows how to get that balance of of comedy but also um, you know give across the message of the film um, and everyone feels passionately about the story and the script and that becomes the sort of focus of attention and also you're seeing people you know, very often people who are at the beginning of their careers as writers or directors and it gives us as actors, I think, a chance to be part of, you know, someone creating their career, which is lovely. I think it's the greatest part of it, actually. I did one called Franz Kafka, It's a Wonderful Life for a great friend of mine, Peter Capaldi, who won the best short film Oscar in 1995. So you kind of think, well, if you've done that, that one, then to do another one is... Inevitably, you know, I get obviously because I'm so old now, I get asked to do student films in order for them to audition to get other things. But um, uh, this one is incredibly well organised, so it's been a pleasure to do. It's such a good story. It has a charm um, that makes you fall in love with Oliver, even though he is so in love with himself and doesn't need anyone else to fall in love with him. Um, and. It's just a very witty, clever idea, so I was thrilled to be part of it. Sex. I just had to have sex with someone other than myself. What about that girl in the bookshop? You see her every day? The man who married himself, you know, is something that's going to be unusual, and Charlie Fish has written such an off-the-wall story. Uh, it has its own internal logic that um, it just appealed to me. I thought it was a wonderful idea. I suppose it made people think. They would read my book and ask themselves, am I easy to live with? If I had to live with me, could I do it? 